This is a pen, but so is this, and also these. From styluses to quills, pens have gone through some astonishing changes. So, how did this all happen? Well, it all dates back to 4000 BC, where Greeks and Romans would scratch letters onto wax tablets using this thing called a stylus. These styluses were usually made from either a wooden or iron stick, which, of course, wasn't the most effective writing style. And that's why, in 300 BC, Greeks developed the reed pen. This pen would have a reed sharpened at its tip as its writing point. To write, rather than scratching tablets, the tips of reed pens would be dipped into ink. Now moving on to the quill pen. In the 6th century, Romans replaced the reed pen with a quill pen as it was more durable and capable of more delicate writing. Quill pens were made from large bird feathers, more specifically, geese feathers to write. When the quill got dull, people would use a pen knife to sharpen it. This game has one downside, however. Without a supply of ink on hand, the quill would be practically useless. This proposed the idea of a new pen. A pen that would work without the need of carrying around ink. A pen that wouldn't need to be sharpened. Now this idea is easier said than done. Many problems came upon the creation of a fountain pen, and it would be too unreliable to be called useful. The ink would either leak or clog, which obviously wasn't ideal. In fact, one man named Waterman was said to lose out on a huge contracting deal when the fountain pen he used leaked. After this quite infuriating event, Waterman made it his life's work on a successful pen company. Soon after, John J. Loud in 1884 patented a revolutionary design. Instead of the fountain pen's steel tip, he replaced it with a tiny ball that would constantly roll around in the ink reservoir. This, however, didn't stop the leaking problem, but it did inspire Laszlo and George Biro to improve the ballpoint pen. Not only does it use a ball at the tip of the pen, but it also fixes the problem of the leaking and clogging. Now the pens I've mentioned play a huge role in history, and it really comes to show how grand of an impact pens have made on society. Just imagine the world we'd live in without the invention of the pen, and how much we'd lose from the past. This mere object sitting in your bag has lots more importance than you'd initially think. As without it, we lose our independence, books, identity records, education, and even our alphabet. So next time you use a pen, think about how far we've come along.